Okay guys, we're here at the junkyard and he's already been moving a few things. Um, the old Buicks and that one Mercedes is gone, but he's already pulled up the Biscayne and the Impala up here as far as the Chrysler. I don't know this one. Oh, Buick, the Volkswagen. Here's another Buick. This is old Chevy. Here's the Buick that had the inline eight in it. Here's the Mustang and a an, uh, shitty old three Explorer. But yeah, these cars are all for sale. Guys, come rescue them. It's at South 9th Street here in Durant, Oklahoma. And Justin, he's a money man, so you show him money, he'll sell them. I'll show you a little bit on the Impala over here. This is not the one I'm getting. But, yeah. Trunk open. Yep. Drive shafts in it. My floor is gone, but that'd be a hell of a lot easier floor to do than what I'm getting. But buying parts of this, I think, just be too expensive versus what I'm getting. Let's open this interior. That won't open. So let's go through the whole thing glass. It's there, and that whole floor needs replaced. But it's a good project car, just like what I'm getting. Is there a motor in it? I don't think there is. No, there's a gas tank in it. But suspension's in it. Even with the manual gearbox for the um, steering. So, okay. I'm out here with my brother, Lucas. You gonna wipe there, buddy? <laughs> and we're going to clean out my 64 Impala and get it to where it'll roll so when we come pick it up we can all right let's go okay out in the junkyard now i see some things like that's where the mercedes went right next to the maverick and then we got a old dotson back here now I see just out of the view of the camera. Oh, they moved quite a few things up in here. Quite a few cars on the bottom. But yeah, little old Datsun Z. Kind of curious about it. Is there any parts in there that'll fit on the mine? That door won't open. this does wow it's all here this will be something nice and it's a standard too let's see if motors in it why is this in a junkyard Seems all right. it does Even the motor's in it. It's not a Datsun, it's a damn Porsche. I thought that was a Datsun 240. No, it's a Porsche. You want a Porsche? We can go down there and ask him how much he wants for it. It got all the wheels are under it. The, to me, the ugly Porsche. <laughs> yeah. But it's a Porsche. We opened the hood for the Impala. I'm going to guess it's a little 283. I'm pretty sure that motor seized up, so we're going to have to uh, pull the 
plugs off of it and then we will pour transmission fluid down there but since I don't have an intake or the distributor or a carburetor or a water pump and none of the accessories up front I'm not going to dare do this and of course I was thinking I would have a bolt sticking out here I don't so I'm not gonna be able to turn the motor over right now and even if I tried I don't think it might it might not even break over so but what's awesome is su suspension is in there uh, steering linkage is all in here brake lines are even all connected heater hoses are in there that's my brother opening the door now what I'm gonna do is switch out the hinges on this thing so therefore at least the hood will hopefully work correctly and bolt the rear end back up underneath the thing that originally came with so and after that we're going to clean the car out and just clean the dirt that's in it because it's filthy inside so but yeah it's just filthy with just random stuff in here if it goes to the car i'm going to keep it but if it doesn't i'm just going to trash it yeah so okay oh pull the, the rear end back up under here originally what i did is i pulled it out to put in that blue one thinking that blue one would be a hell of a lot cheaper but since he's letting this thing go real cheap that's so i'm going to take it because everything's here it just has a bunch of rot in it and yeah it just has a bunch of rot but the parts are here okay do is I don't know where we're gonna move this. We're gonna have to move it on the outside of there. That's where it's more room to. Alright. Bend Swing around. Throw it backwards. Whoop. Yeah, that down. Uh, Tire probably. Something there. What's up, is it? No, you good. Get over here. Go ahead and take a break. I'm gonna cut this grass down. All right, tell me when you're ready. All right, go. It's gonna take time. Go. All right, I'm in suspension. Hang on. I go. All right. Hang on. I'm not ready. All right, three, two, one, go. Whoa, shit. Hang on. I gotta kill it. I lost it. Damn yellow jacket. We're almost in. See that? lower bar that kind of curves like a banana yeah it got to go to here okay. that's what it connects into so
Okay. Mm. Keep on hitting my head on the damn quarter panel. There we go. Lucas, yeah. take this jack. Go to the other side of the rear end and jack it up. Hang on a second. All right, there you go. You gotta go underneath that tube and raise that side up. Yep, you see what I'm talking about. Nope, you gotta go underneath this tube right here on your side. Oh. That's out of the jack, or it. <coughs> Said we're gonna come up so I can put that bolt all the way through. All right, hang on a second. Oh, I think that was it. Hang on. See if I can but twist it. I was, I was talking talk, talk to her. It is, how about it is Saturday or Sunday Ow. about coming over. So maybe ha having another I know weekend. Saturday we're uh, going up to Colgate for little Lexi's birthday. Yeah, I just want to think maybe Sunday would, would be better. As long as it's not late at night. Well, I'm off, I'm off, I'm off, I'm off on, on, on Sunday. So. Okay, cool. I was thinking, I was thinking maybe, maybe we come up around five, six, six at the latest. Yeah. Okay. Mom, mom uh, bought this, bought this new, this new car game that we they might try. Nice. I don't see extra bolts, so we might be done. Okay, we're here, and we're looking for. Tiger Raw GT or G70s. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Nope. This one might. I think that will. Huh. <laughs> Tire's so rotted it's gone. Try to find something with an actual tire on it, so maybe we'll have a chance that it actually airs up. Be careful, because there could be snakes in here. Don't get, don't want you to get bit by a copperhead or something. That's a six bolt. Here's your Chevy, off of a truck probably. That might be too big. I need something little. Got some more over here. Yep. Let's try this. That will fit. And that's completely gone. As long as it's not missing a chunk of the tire. As long as it's not missing like a chunk. No, too small. Huh, too bad these won't fit it. We can make it look pretty cool. It will fit. Saying that, there's one here. I don't know. Let's those are different. Damn. But yeah, we what well, we found two tires. Need one more. 
We might could have it on with um, but I don't want nothing aftermarket. I just want something that will at least roll. Get the aftermarket, he might charge me for those. Now here's a five. That's way too small. And this might be something. Yeah, found him. All right. Okay, I really hope I just recorded a bunch of stuff, but we got a little bit further on this Impala. Now, I do got three other wheels that will go on the car. They're all mixed match. They're just to get the car to roll up onto the trailer or however they're gonna load it and then have it roll off the trailer. That's it. So therefore, when we get home, we'll put on jack stands and then we will excess everything I need. But right now, what I will need is a rear windshield and everything looks good up on here even where the quarter panel sits. So I could use a rear windshield, get the gasket, then I will need the trim that goes all the way around it. And saying that, I've looked and supposedly 62's fit, and there's a 62 that we grab the hood hinges off of, with all the trim and everything there, so I might could get off that. But I'm thinking about, we're gonna have to replace the whole quarter panel on this side because we got a crease there, big old crease here, and it's all screwed up here. Need the rear trim here. I got tail lights off the Biscayne. They're not gonna match. So I'll need two tail lights, one for the inside trunk, one for the tail panel. So do that. This quarter, it's kind of screwed up in the back. Might could fix that. Got a crease right there, but the lower is completely rotted. So I don't know, we might just need to cut the bottom off and put a new, and patch a new one in. So the trunk is completely gone. Floor, when I lift it up, you could hear it starting to poke through. So I'm figuring trunk is probably gone. Or the floor pan, I'm sorry, floor pan. As far as trim back here, we're not really gonna know until I take the bumper and all the other stuff off, depends on where we're at. But I know we got that right there. What I'm going to do is probably go cut this and put a new sheet of metal in there and delete the trunk latch completely and just have where I can electronically pop it. So, yeah, I'm needing basically all the trim. It's bent, it's destroyed. Now I'm talking about the trim that goes on the side. It goes all the way down and curves back and comes back around. I'll need that for both sides. And I'm going to put a damn mirror on this side. I'm not going to drive without a mirror. I know they did not come with it, so I'm going to tap into it and actually put a mirror in here so I can see on both sides. So, but besides that, time for the magic. For the magic. There, almost about crushed wrong. And then also to make it even better, There we go. So do not don't crush and rockabilly customs YouTube for anybody else that comes out here and looks at this car. So this car is 100% mine and it's not the fact if I get the money, it's when I get the money because I got work out there that y'all see on YouTube that will help pay for this car. So I will get that completely this car will be in my backyard 
and she is a restoration so what we're going to do as soon as I get it there and I'm gonna get my air compressor or my sandblaster working we start sandblasting this car panel by panel and then go back with primer and just spray it I want this car under primer as fast as possible so therefore I know what I'm working with anybody out there like Roy Marco if you said you got a 64 that's gonna be parting out I can get a hold of you and tell you hey guy dude I need this part this part this part what will you cost and what would the shipping be and if it's cheaper than ordering it new and it's in good great shape even good shape I'll definitely get it from you brother so because I, I I don't know guys y'all think this car would be a good car to take to uh, um, hot rod power tour of 2022 if hot rod power tour is where I can make it in this car I've thrashed on enough to get the motor running transmission good rear end good and at least under primer I will drive this car in hot rod power tour I just got to make it where it's road worthy and where I can be safely in this thing without breaking down or even if I break down as long as I don't go and wreck the car because something was wrong with it so Okay guys, I'm getting out of here. I'm going home because I'm getting contacts finally and we gotta go do some shopping. So, and also I gotta order some parts to get those other builds done that the people are gonna pay me for. And so therefore I can do them. So I don't know, the guy wants me to fix his quarter pan or his bumper and his uh, door. He might be wanting me to do it uh, here in a week or two. So I need a dryer for my air compressor to paint it. So that's one of them. I need paper, I need tape for the paint. So, and I probably need to order some more body filler. So we're going up to OKC next weekend to, uh, to Clark's Wholesale Paint. There's one place I'm stopping up there. And that's where I'm going to get the primer, the body filler possibly, the rolls of paper and tape. So cool beans dude this is exciting I get my first 1964 Impala SS she's rough but this is gonna be a fun build and with y'all help, help over on YouTube I'll be able to make this thing possible so take a picture for the uh, thumbnail and yeah do the picture for the thumbnail and then we'll get it now one thing though i did not get done i did not get to clean the interior interior still looks like trash but i've got a gauge cluster in there everything's in here except for a glove box that's it and the fact the door shuts oh my god <laughs> so Okay guys, I'm going to get out of here. If y'all like the video, hit the thumbs up like always. If y'all new to the channel, please subscribe. Y'all, they're subscribing and the thumbs up and the comments below just tells me, hey, I'm doing an awesome job and I keep at it. So guys, I'm going to get out of here and I'll see you on the next one. Later.